Hey, it's Dabs and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to have you join me in this tutorial. In this one, I want to show you how you can pop anything inside of WordPress using Elementor. In case you want to have a pop-up, maybe you want to pop up a form, you want to pop up uh, a discount code, whatever it is you want to pop up and you don't know how to get it done, I'm going to show you a super simple, easy trick to get it done literally for free in this tutorial. Without further ado, I think we should get started already. So right on my screen here is uh, a just default random WordPress Elementor website that I'm going to use for tutorial purpose. Uh, so right now, let's come back to the back end of this uh, WordPress. The beauty about this is that it is literally free, but again, you will need to install two plugins to get this done. Uh, so if you are not a fan of installing unnecessary WordPress plugins like myself, you might want to just uh, do away with this tutorial and look for something else. Again, I think I should do another tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can add a bit of code here and there to get things done if you prefer that. Trust me, if I found the easy way to get this done without installing a plugin or maybe just one plugin, I would have done that tutorial and I'll always be on the lookout till I find the plugin, one single plugin that can get this done literally for free. Uh, so let's come to plugins here. Let's come to add new. So we're going to install our first plugin. It's called Anywhere Elementor. So let's search for that. So it's the plugin here is by WP Vibes. 90,000 active installations, quite a good plugin. So let's install this. And the next plugin we're going to be installing is Exclusive Add-on. Okay, so you can see here exclusive add-ons for Elementor. So let's install this plugin too as well. Uh, then we can come to our installed plugins. So I have anywhere Elementor here and I also have exclusive add-ons here. So I will just click this here. I will activate both plugins. Immediately we activate those two plugins. If you come here, you will see that we have a place here for AE template which is for Anywhere Elementor and also for exclusive add-ons here. And I think that's beautiful. So if you come to a template, you see all the templates you have and you can add a new template. So if you're using it for the very first time like this, you won't have anything that you have installed. So you just need to come to add new. And here I can just call this pop-up. Call it whatever you want to call it. Doesn't really matter. And then we're going to edit this with Elementor. So inside of Elementor here, you can design whatever it is you want to pop up. If you want to maybe pop up a form or whatever it is, you can do that here. But for the purpose of this example, I will just uh, use any template, any block rather, uh, from Astra, since I'm using Astra team, just to pop that for example purpose. Uh, maybe this, let's just work with this. So let's say I want to import this. Uh, so let's import this block. Good. So you can see we have this block here. You can style this. It's elemental. You know all of these things work. I wouldn't want to waste so much time trying to do that. So I would just uh, publish this. And then we can come back here. Let's exit back to WordPress. So you can see we are done uh, with that. Uh, so we can come here to the right hand here and just uh, copy a short code for that template and that's it so now we have to go to the page that we want to display this pop-up so now let me visit the home page here let's come here and let's edit this page with elementor so instead of elementor we're going to be using exclusive add-on to display this so i can just close all of this let's close this let's close this so we have a place now for exclusive add-ons. So these are the templates uh, for this add-on here. But there's a particular one that we are looking for. It is called modal pop-up. This is exactly what we're going to use. We are going to just drag this to anywhere on the page that we want to use this. So right now, I will just uh, delete this image first off. And then I will change this from image to short code. Uh, right uh, so here I'll paste my short code this doesn't make any sense we may just want to delete this button icon as well so you can start this further make it maybe smaller like this uh, you can just uh, say maybe get started just like we have there 
right come to style from here you can choose the alignment the width you can reduce that the padding the colors here so you can do all of those things so i really don't want to waste so much time here there's still so much that we can do here like the container here the animation the overlay and also the close button but first off let's try to publish this first and then let's view our page let's see so you can see we have this button here so if i click this button so you can see this is popping up here and i think this is beautiful so this is exactly how super simple and easy it is for you to pop anything basically anything on your wordpress website with elementor so you can go back you can style this you can style the container uh, there's so much you can do here uh, you can see the border type you can give it a border if you want to you can uh, cancel the overflow of x and y that's if you are having uh, your display maybe a page that you need to scroll you may want to do this so that you'll be able to scroll so you can also set your container height for tablet and for mobile so if you come here you can switch in between and for the size of the container i love to do percentage really uh, you may want to increase this to 100 percent to make it full width that will take the entire screen whatever it is that you want to do literally is fine there so i'll just uh, take this out uh, so the next thing again here is the animation the style uh, you can play around with animations to see how that work uh, overlay do you want to have an overlay that's literally up to you so another thing you can walk around is your close button you may want to set that here set the color for the close button maybe give it a a very bright sharp color maybe maybe dark maybe black whatever it is give it a background color if you must uh, set the size here and then you may want to also set the position that's very very important so for example let's just uh, come here let's click this so you can see here i can't even uh, see the close button here whatsoever so if i come to the position here i might just want to play around with this so you can see here i have the x close button here so you might want to just uh take it uh somewhere here uh, you may want to leave it maybe on the pop-up or outside the pop-up whatever it is that work for you so i want to drag this up do whatever you want to do and once you are done here just hit the publish button and that's all that is to this uh you can easily just pop anything right now on your wordpress website so if you click this this to close uh let's refresh this right now again and let's hit the get started button as you can see here this is working but again i didn't get the positioning for the close uh button here so you want to come down here and make sure you set that correctly uh that's because uh not open there so you can see this so i might want to take it uh further so it's that super simple to do so that's exactly how to do this you can start popping everything on your elemental wordpress website literally for free if you find this tutorial quite useful give me a thumbs up you can also let me know your result in the comment section i'll look out for them i would see you in that tutorial and until then take care